disasters can often strike when they are least expected. The better prepared you are and the more familiar you are with your environment, the higher your chances are of survival. Tsunamis are a rare but real threat to our coastlines. How can you find out that a tsunami is on the way? You might feel strong ground shaking or hear a loud ocean roar. You might see the water recede unusually far and the seafloor suddenly exposed. Or you might receive an official warning from a government agency. Both natural and official warnings are equally important. Respond to whatever you hear or observe first. A tsunami is a series of waves or surges most commonly caused by an earthquake beneath the seafloor, where two of the tectonic plates that make up the Earth's outer shell collide, subduction zones are formed. Earthquakes occur because the oceanic crust sticks as it is being pushed beneath the continent rather than sliding smoothly. Large stresses build up over hundreds of years and are released suddenly in great earthquakes. If the earthquake happens along our coastline, you will feel strong ground shaking which can last many minutes and may be followed by dangerous aftershocks. If you are indoors, drop down to the floor and take cover under a sturdy desk, table or other furniture. Hold on to it and be prepared to move with it. If you are outside, get into the open away from buildings, power lines and trees if possible. If you are driving, Stop if it is safe, but stay inside your car. Move your car as far out of the normal traffic pattern as possible. Stay away from bridges, overpasses, and tunnels. Ground movement during an earthquake is seldom the direct cause of death or injury. Most earthquake-related casualties result from collapsing walls, flying glass, and falling objects. The earthquake is your warning of the impending tsunami. There will be no official warning. Start evacuating as soon as you can. You may only have a couple of minutes before the tsunami strikes the coast and floods the hazard zones. If you are in a hazard zone, on a beach, in low-lying coastal areas, in a harbor, or near an estuary, move inland into high ground immediately on foot. Do not try to drive anywhere. Most roads will be impassable and blocked due to the earthquake. Remember, the evacuation will be complicated by earthquake damage. Not all of the coastal area is in a hazard zone. There are tsunami hazard and evacuation maps for most areas along the coast. If you are outside of the hazard zone, do not evacuate. Stay where you are. Over evacuation can cause problems. Earthquakes are common within the Pacific Basin. Sometimes they are big enough to trigger a tsunami. These distant source tsunamis travel across the ocean at great speeds and can cause extensive damage when they strike the coast. However, since it takes many hours for the first waves to reach our coastlines, you will receive an official warning of the impending danger. The West Coast and Alaska Tsunami Warning Center in Palmer, Alaska is responsible for issuing warnings and information about potential tsunamis along the west coast of the United States. Bulletins are typically issued within 5 to 15 minutes of a large undersea earthquake or landslide. The warning center contacts local officials who decide whether or not to order evacuation. A tsunami warning is issued when a potential tsunami with significant widespread inundation is imminent or expected. Please evacuate to higher ground as soon as possible. A tsunami watch is issued to alert emergency management officials and the public of an event which might later impact the watch area. You will be notified about the tsunami via NOAA weather radios, television and sirens. Stay calm. If you hear a siren, leave the beaches and harbor areas and get more information. Local authorities will determine the appropriate areas to be evacuated. If you are in these areas, you will have many hours to evacuate safely. The evacuation will be controlled by official sources. Head to high ground, inland, or to an official evacuation shelter. Warnings, watches, and advisories may be updated, adjusted geographically, downgraded, or canceled. You should monitor your NOAA weather radio, local radio, 
TV stations, or the Internet for updated information. Where the ocean is very deep, a tsunami wave is not very high and difficult to detect, but it can travel at speeds of over 500 miles per hour as fast as a commercial jet. Near the coast, in shallower waters, the tsunami speed slows down, but the wave height increases. If you see the ocean withdraw out to sea, exposing the sea bottom or hear the train-like roar of the tsunami, you might have less than a minute to get to safety. Go to an upper story of a building if you are unable to reach high ground or are trapped. The upper floors of high, multi-story, reinforced concrete buildings can provide safe refuge. A tsunami is a series of waves or surges and is not over after the first, second, or third surge. The first surge is almost never the largest. Successive waves may be spaced many minutes apart and can continue to arrive for many hours. It is not possible to predict when the highest wave will reach the coast or how high it will be. Strong tsunami-induced currents lead to the erosion of foundations and the collapse of bridges and seawalls. Considerable damage can be caused by floating debris, including boats and cars. They become dangerous projectiles that can crash into buildings, break power lines, start fires, and even kill and injure people. Water flowing back out to the sea is also extremely powerful and destructive. The water will flood the hazard zones for many hours. Don't be misled by the height of the wave. A moderate 15-foot tsunami can inundate more than one half mile. Small tsunami waves can be lethal, even if you are in your car. Beware, you cannot surf a tsunami. Stay away from the beach and the coastline. Possessions can be replaced, your life can't. Do not return to the shore after the first waves, even if that's against your instinct. Many people died in the 1964 Alaska tsunami because they did not wait until the surges were over. Wait for the official all clear before returning to the hazard area and your home. Earthquakes and tsunamis are unpredictable and can occur anytime, night and day, and during any weather conditions. Being prepared, knowing where you are and where to go increases your chance of survival. There will be no time to plan your evacuation once the disaster has happened. Take personal action. Think through what you will do in an emergency and have an emergency kit ready. Make a family communication plan. Identify the dangerous areas where you live, work, shop and play. Note the routes you will need to take to get to safety. The best way to perform under extreme stress is to repeatedly run through rehearsals beforehand. You can't control nature, but you can take control over your life by being prepared.